Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Sage One, this is going to be our Season 8 gameplay review. Just a quick note, then our guide on how to counter turtling is going to be delayed until early next week. On this gameplay review though, joining me is our writer Kai, how you doing? Not too bad Daniel, how are you doing? I'm doing amazingly, and Season 8 has been introduced with so many new things. The top right part of the map is totally reworked whaling risky both gone and replaced with a volcano not only has the map switched up but so many little features have been added i am so excited to get into this one yeah me too daniel a whole bunch of new mechanics and new items too we have the cannons we have the new vents um that can you can fly up and redeploy off of uh, we have a whole bunch of new pirate forts around the map so we wanted to release this gameplay review as soon as possible so you guys can kind of see what a real game in Season 8 looks like or can look like. Uh, in the review, we're, we're going to kind of discuss uh, some of the plays I make, discuss some of the decisions that I make, um, and even look at some of the bad plays and some of the bad things that I could have done better or could have improved on and eventually see how this game plays out and how I end up closing out the win. So All right. let's get into it. Yeah, let's get right into it. The first decision that you make is to land black tops inside of retail. Why is that? Yeah, it's a pretty standard drop for me. I don't know. Again, I think everybody has their comfortable drops. Mm -hmm. um, I like black tops. I like retail row. Usually get into a few fights early. So really quick here, I'm checking to see if anybody else is landing near me. Then I'm going to go ahead and land in this water tower. Mm -hmm. I do see that shotgun, so I'm waiting for somebody to land on it, mm -hmm. which I uh, give myself a free kill here, which I can almost close out. I almost close out right away, but end up dropping down and finishing <laughs> that up. <laughs> yeah, that's, and that's one thing that you can definitely apply to your own gameplay uh, if you're just watching this, is that before you drop, look around, see if there's any like high high stakes loot around, and maybe just pre prepare yourself just to uh, see if anybody's going to go for that, right? Yeah, it's kind of similar when you're gliding down uh, from your drop, when you look around to see how many other people are in the sky, uh, what direction they're going in generally. Mm -hmm. It's similar like similar to that. You just you want all the information you can get. And um, with, uh, with the new health on kill and the mats on kill, yeah. if you get a kill early, it's pretty easy to push some early engagements. So that's what I'm going to do here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one quick question. Why didn't you continue to go to the different buildings of Blacktops, and why'd you go right towards Res? I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty for action, man. I want to yeah. fight. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I got myself into a little bit of a tough situation here. I saw mm -hmm. one guy at the restaurant, another guy right here coming down from the hill, and then uh, another guy right here as well. So, Ooh. Yeah. It looks like this comes actually pretty close, but you do get the Alim at the end, which is awesome. Um, mm -hmm. You also get some minis that you can heal yourself up with. So it's not a bad trade, right? Yep. And not a bad trade. Definitely good for me. Going to immediately turtle up there so I can pick up the loot, get the mats, grab the minis, and then I'll make an aggressive edit out play. Um, hit that guy, scare him a little bit. <laughs> a couple of 66s, and then all of a sudden, you get a big pot. So you got a big old yep. smile on your face. But now there's one more guy. Uh, how do you deal yep. with the pressure in this situation? Well, as you can see, I turtle up exactly like I did after the last kill. So I killed the guy, I turtle up so I can loot him, kind of reset my bearings. I killed the next guy, and I turtle up right here. And I right now, I'm basically just going to hold all of these walls or wait until I have time to drink that big pot like I did right there. Because um, there's no real, really reason to rush mm -hmm. an engagement if you have loot or have the ability to, you know, kind of heal up for free. So I'm going to take that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you do end up chasing him because he gets caught a little bit off guard. Ooh, nice. That was yeah. pretty good there. So, four um, kills in the early game. Did mm -hmm. you, were you going to say something? Sorry. Yeah, right there, he. Uh, I ended up editing out because it looked like he was going to try to claim my wall, but then as soon as he ran away, mm -hmm. um, I saw that, so I have the ability to kind of edit out without danger of him shooting me right away. So now I'm just going to push... Um, clean up that kill and then push other engagements here. Mm -hmm. It does look like there's two people um, fighting each other here. So it's a, it's a nice third party, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I know there's more than one person here. Mm -hmm. Nice third party. So 
I'm gonna try to immediately get on the high ground. That's what you want to do in a lot of third party situations or fights where there's multiple people. Mm -hmm. And um, kind of go for <laughs> kind of a psycho push here. Yeah, just like 1v, 1v2 and then you get the advantage there. Because this, this guy was playing a little bit more passive. There was one guy that was a little bit more aggressive and then... Yeah, yeah. He, he's running away. <laughs> Understandable when you're fighting yeah. someone and a third party comes in. Mm -hmm. I do like the zoning grenade that you put there, though. Yeah, force right him out right. from that rock. Mm -hmm. um, right unfortunately, I'm not playing this very well. Like, mm -hmm. I was. What I like to do is if somebody has high ground like that, I like mm -hmm. to look for a low ground trade um, and then turtle up or and then build for height. Yeah. So I'll try to peek that guy and get some damage on him. But he's playing pretty well. He wasn't peeking from predictable positions, and he uh, he tagged me a couple times. So I'm gonna go up, go ahead and turtle up here, mm -hmm. uh, make sure I have the max amount of shield that I can before I push back out. Yeah, I think uh, one of the big things is like how long should you turtle? And I think that you turtle for like the exact right moment. Just heal up and then go back in. Yeah, it's like when you're turtling, it has a lot of advantages, but you know. You mm -hmm. don't necessarily have to just sit in a turtle. I think editing out to get aggressive is the right play in a lot of situations. Right here, it's really hard. I have to really be careful about the information I have and the decision I make because there's two guys here. There's one right above me, and there's another one kind of slightly in front of the black tops. Mm -hmm. Like I saw building up, and I only have one shot in my pump shotgun, Ooh, that's uh, not which pump is shotgun. really dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely not a fun scenario if uh, you're in that, but oh, yeah, that was sick. Uh, right. Luckily, I hit that one right there. It was a, it was a nice one for um, yeah, for the game. Get his shotgun, get his blue pump, uh -huh. get some more ammo, and then turtle back up because I don't know where the other guy is. I don't want him to drop on me or get a bunch of free damage before I have time to react. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was definitely like, I don't want to say like luck. But it was definitely a little bit that the guy didn't, like, build behind him. He just, mm -hmm. like, left it there. But you got one more guy diving onto you. And you already have high ground, which is good. Yeah. Right there, he had high ground, but I think he accidentally redeployed. Mm. Oh, okay. When he jumped down. Oh, okay, there. So I'll grab the wall, get mm -hmm. the edit on him there, kind of hold the angle. I'm not just going to stand in the open and let him shoot me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to I'm going to try to take my shots, pull out my AR, take a few more shots and just work that angle so I can shoot him without him really having the ability to trade back super well. Mm -hmm. And the decision there was to leave your high ground post and then and then chase the guy. Was that just because you were confident? Uh yeah. I mean, it, there's only so much that high ground gives you it definitely gives you an advantage but if you don't kind of use that advantage to push your enemy mm -hmm. um you know it's not the greatest to just stay on high ground and try to like spam or spray from above yeah especially if you're trying to end engagements quickly which uh definitely was a boon for me here because you can see that i'm just outrunning the storm yeah. if that fight would have kind of what would have been prolonged then we might have both gotten caught in the storm which mm -hmm. was not good yeah and now you're running towards the circle here so what is your rotational uh thought process just get in the circle man <laughs> well like after you get <laughs> after you get into the circle because you're you, you come face to face with dusty um mm -hmm. which way do you want to go do you want to go towards salty or towards the north end well, for me personally, yeah, I am running towards any shots I hear or any people I see. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much my rotation plan in this game. I see this? I see this poor soul trying to yeah. use the new cannons, test them out, see what they're <laughs> like. <Aww. laughs> I hate to Eight. see it to be honest. Eight I felt kid. bad about that one. I didn't yeah. feel good about it, yeah. but you gotta do what you gotta do. Exactly. It's just another kill. And then you get more <laughs> shots towards the north end here. And you have to rotate up there anyways. So mm -hmm. are you thinking of going around? You know, you just want to go straight for him. No, they, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking the exact same thing you just said. I have to go that direction anyways, whatever. Yeah. I'll push this guy. So mm -hmm. not a big deal. And you don't want to wait for the crate because you already kind of have some mm -hmm. decent items too. Mm -hmm. um, I also, it, it's important for me, I guess, to point out that in this game... This is like, I believe this is my first game 
on for the day. I warmed up for like maybe 10 minutes, my aim and my building. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, not not too hard of shots, but <laughs> definitely satisfying. Yeah. This is um this is my first game, so my shotgun shot specifically. That's like the big one for me that it takes a little while to warm up is my shotgun shot. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit off this game. However, you, it, you can definitely tell uh, from my positioning and my game sense that it's possible to really make up for, uh, let's say, like not a not warm shotgun shot, or it's possible mm. to make up for aim that's not great with a good positioning, with a game sense, with a good, like precise, uh, intentional building, mm -hmm. right? Um, so, mm -hmm. I also want to talk about that because you were being very wishy washy between the the chug jug or your grenade launcher. Why'd you end up choosing the chug? Uh, no real reason. I like grenade launchers are good if you're in kind of mid range engagements or you're mm. pushing a build battle or something like that. Uh, in this game, I just I'd rather have the chug jug. I re I usually don't find myself using the grenade launcher as much because mm -hmm. I'm kind of a fan of just kind of building up and pushing and getting into the thick of it right away. And in those situations, grenade launcher isn't as good, right? It kind of loses its value when you get close range. Mm -hmm. So I'll pick up the chug jug just in case like somebody chunks me really bad and I have to heal afterwards, get some free heals off that. Mm -hmm. And you also, you, you kind of wait till the last minute every single time to, to start going towards the circle. Uh, right when the storm starts to collapse, that's when you start the rotation. Uh, would you recommend yep. that usually or uh my rotations this game are really heavily dictated by the people i see and the the kills i'm trying to push mm -hmm. if you typically if you're going for rotations or um if you're just trying to play for the end game you're trying to play a little bit safer then you can rotate a little bit earlier for sure mm -hmm. um definitely it's good to, I'll, I'll say this it's good to get at least in the edge of the circle or near it um, by the time kind of the storm starts closing in or starts getting close mm -hmm. because if you like happen to run across some random dude or run into a random engagement uh, you won't be in too much trouble oof Aww, that's, that's tough for him that yeah, is very tough for that guy yeah feel bad for that guy did he just get a kill or was he trying to nope. chase I, I don't know what he was doing yeah, he was being so aggro on top of that guy's box with less than 30 H, like 39 HP. It yeah. didn't really make any sense to me. Yeah. And then you keep playing the high ground here, which is nice. You have full, um, full control of this fight type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he gets a little shot in me there, but mm -hmm. like th this is what I'm talking about. Really precise building, just making sure you block off the angles that you know he's going to take, like that right there. Yeah. Um, my shotgun shot is, again, off, so like I'm missing a bunch here, but you can still kind of find the opportunities through building and for keeping high ground, force them to like take a different way up or force them to build up and then um, jump on them, take the advantage of uh, them being distracted, trying to build up or mm -hmm. trying to take height. Yeah, P90 was definitely your best friend there. <laughs> it was a lot of damage. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, now you're just looking around. Is there a... I, I heard a guy on a drift board. That's why I'm oh, looking okay. around here. Got yeah. It. So we'll see if this guy's around. Yeah. Um, he's actually he's trying to get on this launch pad over here, but it's blocked. Oh, there you go. There he is, right in front of me. <laughs> Let's see what he does, because so, he's just trying we'll, to chase We'll just up. track him right there. Yeah. yeah. He's just trying to chase up to you, and then just like, I can build. <laughs> this is, this uh -huh. is the thing. Unfortunately for him, it's not that easy. No. But again, like really precise building. I'll take the shots I get while keeping high ground. Oof. The drop on his head. That yeah, and then when you get when you get a chance to do that, just do it. If you yeah. like, if you can drop on their head and hit that shot, it's definitely a surprise for most players, and just hmm. it'll catch a lot of people off guard. So yeah, because you ended be up doing that. You ended up doing a decent amount of damage to the guy um, beforehand. So you knew I that think if, I hit him for 71. Yeah, so you knew that if you dropped on his head, you would have definitely killed him if you hit the headshot. So it's just trusting yep. yourself, right? Yep, and like even if I don't hit that shot, like there's still other things you can do. Like You can still react quickly and kind of build up. Um, 
not the end of the world, but definitely a good example of like a decent time to drop on an opponent. And the edit there, uh, instead of just like dropping off the floor, I kind of edit it through my floor and make it a little bit more unpredictable or unexpected on his part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you get the rotated once again into the circle. Um, are you thinking of going up or just straight into Pleasant? I think, yeah, I'm thinking about going up here. Um, just good generally, number one, so I can kind of have a view. Mm -hmm. the middle of the circle is like right over Pleasant, so I can have a view um, from the edge of the circle where everyone is. I can kind of scout it out a little bit. And two, if I decide to not go up there and there's already somebody up on that mountain, they have a really good angle on me. And mm -hmm. I put myself in a bad position. Yeah. So this just guy just... puts a trap down. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'll just land on his wall and build up. Yeah. My my tower now. That's it. And then you just build yeah. on up. Um, well, are you, are honestly, you... I was going to go aggressive on him right there, but yeah. then I saw the snipe right before I landed and uh -huh. decided against it. Yeah. And now the, the tables have turned. Because the guy wants to get in now. Yeah. But edits. Quick edits. Ooh. And make sure you always block yourself off afterwards as quickly mm -hmm. as possible. Don't let him get that trade. Yeah. A little bit of a blind shot there by with 44, so that was really good. And yeah. then constantly countering his traps. Yeah, he's trying to like he tried to edit me down right there <laughs> right there. It actually almost worked. Uh-huh. And like he's weak right now, obviously. I hit him for yeah. like 180 damage. He's super weak. Like right here is a good example because I know there's there's a sniper from that side, so I'm mm -hmm. covering that angle. But if I'm trying to like if I'm jumping around in the middle of the circle trying to fight this guy with six people left, I should be covering my other angles too because somebody just missed a snipe from my back right there. Right, and that's why you ended and, up placing that little kind of railing so that nobody. Well, actually, that floor. If you mm -hmm. edit a floor into that one square, it's yeah. a trick. It lets you phase through walls. Huh. So I knew this guy was super super weak. Yeah. Right, and so I edited the edited the floor into that corner, and then pickaxe and walk forward, yeah. and you'll phase through his wall. Okay. Yeah, so Which is are... it's a dangerous play. It's like it an is. emergency play. Like are you really need to finish up this kill. You really need to mm -hmm. get to this guy's turtle, right? Um, but it works. Mm -hmm. It can okay. work. It can work. If they they can like look at you and just pop you in the head as soon as you walk through if they're expecting it. Um, if they're not, it works almost every time. Yeah. And now I can tell during kind of like the last or right when the storm starts to move in and you're on the outside of the circle, you immediately want to start your uh, rotation into the into the circle just to try and get like the heads up on on people. Yeah, I had the launch pad. I, I had three total, so mm -hmm. really no sweat off my back to use one. Oh, yeah. And I'll just kind of post up in a circle here. I don't want to be caught late rotating with other people taking shots at me. Mm -hmm. I want to be the person who's taking shots at them, right, from inside the circle. So it's kind of what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. That was close. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was really close. Oh. If, that guy could have easily ended my game right here. Yeah. I was going to say, didn't did he hit the, like, your ramp and, like, just missed you? Yeah, like he hit, like... The, the very, very top of my wall, which yeah. is like the ramp. Yeah. Because your ramp ended up breaking, I think, there, right? So. It was really close. Yeah. It was yeah. really close right there. A little scary. But you do want to go aggressive onto the two members that are in this area. Mm -hmm. Because you're, again, you're just confident? Because you know, I'm pushing for kills. Yeah. And the, at the time I launch padded on here, it was inside the circle. Mm hmm. Um, if it was outside, I wouldn't have done it, but yeah. it was inside, so whatever. Just push yeah. for some kills. Mm -hmm. And then you also have high ground, and you want to go down. That's a whole 142. That's mm -hmm. a lot of damage. There you go. Yeah. So I see him there through the metal. I'm able to drop on him and get a really heavy shot mm -hmm. um, before he has the time to place that wall. I think that's one of the advantages. Like if If you're in a box like that, just turtle up and cover all your walls. If you're on the low ground, you know somebody's above you. Otherwise, that can happen. Mm -hmm. pretty yeah. easily he didn't really know what to do there but with three three members remaining um the worst that can happen here is if you do go for somebody someone just third parties you but you know exactly where one guy is and he's right in front of you he doesn't really know what he's shooting at honestly but um you also have a lot of mobility with your with your trampolines so you mm -hmm. want to play off your momentum right 
Uh, trampolines, yeah. Or your I've, uh, jump pads. <laughs> I've, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of mats here too, right? Yeah. So it's pretty easy for me to kind of post up in the circle. Um, using metal specifically just so it's harder for people to shoot me out. That was a dangerous peak. Mm-hmm. With oh, yeah. one other person in the lobby and me oh, not yeah. being aware of their position, that peak was really dangerous. And there he is. And yeah, I'm lucky that I'm lucky that was an AR shot because if that was a sniper shot again, that was it. Could have ended my game super quickly. Yeah, it's just little decisions that can end the game. And oh man, <laughs> even you try and go for that little peak and can't really yeah, well, get it, unfortunately. He doesn't have a sniper, so I'm okay no. with peeking this guy now. But. Um, like it, it was really not smart of me to peek the first guy for so long, knowing there's a second person in this very small circle that I don't know the mm-hmm. location of. Yeah. Um, I got lucky a little bit though. So now we're going to rotate in and this guy is already rotated. He's already in the circle, which is kind of a tough push. You see, like I'm trying to run forward here and he's just spraying out my walls. Mm-hmm. So instead of running forward, you just go up. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can actually get forward progress and protect yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you always want to keep the high ground here and try and do the best decisions. But yeah, you're right now you still you still have to worry about the two guys. So you just want to try and and uh, use a mini really quickly. So now you're just looking for your your one second opportunity and keeping this high ground. This is a really good strat too. It's pretty old still, but it is very effective. It's just the the pyramid on the floor, right? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard for somebody to find the time to shoot both out. Mm -hmm. And. Oh my god. (laughs) One guy's in the storm, one guy died, and then you ended up killing the other guy. (sighs) Yeah, that that was for sure a sloppy (laughs) ending. Like, I could have stayed up on high ground instead of dropping down on that guy. I could have hit a better shotgun shot on that guy and done more damage. I could have built after the shotgun shot and not let him trade back. Um, but it en- ends up working out in my yeah. favor. Mm-hmm. Finish up a 15 kill game here. Um, not the best performance, I guess mm-hmm. uh, I would say, but um, n- and not not the best aim throughout the game. Right. But we're able to finish it up. Yeah, it's still all good. You get the dub, 15 kills. So thank you for joining me uh, tonight. So thank you everyone for for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, gameplay review video. Thank you for joining me. Thank you guys for watching this video. For those who are new to the channel, if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the others on the right side of the screen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for whenever a new guide shows up. We have grown tremendously in the last few months and couldn't have done it without all of our supporters. Thank you again so much and doubly so if you shared it with anyone else like your friends, family, or your pets. You guys are great and we hope to keep making videos that you all like. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One and we're out. Peace.